Mighty Boeing exits Chicago as the city wrestles with crime and exodus. You could say that's New York City. You could say that's parts of LA. You could say that's parts of Portland. You could say that's parts of Seattle, all struggling with the rise in crime. And a lot of folks want to say, well, it's not the crime. We, we're moving our company because of this. Yeah, uh, the crime doesn't help things either. Check out this story. This, this, I'm going to read this super quick. So police promise more patrols with data showing increasing crime rates in the loop. Loop in Chicago, that area where there's just massive shopping. I mean, it's a well-known area. I mean, everybody knows the loop in Chicago. And we need more police because of this kind of stuff going on here. New data on crime rates in Chicago's premier entertainment district as theater goers and residents pressing local police for answers this week. We'd like you to answer why so many people are being shot in the loop. (laughs) <laughs> I love these stories when they, well, we're pressing them for answers. What kind of questions you got? Well, when are you going to stop the shooting? Don't really know. And cities across the United States, they've had these th- these these issues uh, have increased. Some people are trying to say, ah, yeah, but the majority of the crimes, they're going down. Well, not in Chicago and not in the loop and not necessarily for Boeing. Crowds gathered Tuesday for Moulin Rouge at the Nederlander Theater just two days after Sunday's performance of the show was canceled. Everyone was seated and somebody came out and said, ah, show's canceled because of uh, a, a, an incident in the loop. We've had an incident. We've had um, shenanigans in the loop. A couple of people got shot, but don't say that because that's we don't want to do that. The person who came out on the stage to make the announcement was all choked up. We're not going to have our entertainment event today because people are bleeding out at the hospital, possibly. Two men, including a stagehand for the show, were shot after a robbery in an alley near the Chicago Theater on Sunday. Both men were taken to area hospitals and both are expected to survive their injuries. Early Tuesday morning, four more people were shot in the loop. It's not funny. It's just like, okay. You've got these big major companies moving out, and you've got these stories going on. Again, these stories don't help the overall perception, do they? Because there are cities that aren't necessarily having you know record levels of shootings happen um, in their cities. There are cities out there. Wild, right? So we had four more people shot in the loop, including a woman who was crossing a street and three more that were inside of a blue SUV. I was um, with my parents over the weekend on Mother's Day down in Oklahoma City, and we were talking about the shooting that I sent to my mom. I sent her a video uh, of a shooting that happened in OK City, where before the shoot, they had it was at a a taco restaurant, taqueria. Um, There was some kind of disturbance. Two guys walk out to their car out in front of this taco restaurant. They drove away. They come back. They, the one guy, and the thing I was talking about with my mom and dad was the one guy cranks off around it in the floorboard of the car before they get out and start just randomly shooting into the taco restaurant. I mean, do you, do you, how about you? I don't know. Floorboard of your own car. What happened here? Well, you know, we're getting ready to do a shooting at a taco stand or a taco restaurant and, I did. Yeah, I, I didn't want the gun to be that loud outside the car. That would give us away. So, I just cranked off around through the floorboard, hoping it wouldn't hit a piece of metal and come right back at me. Because at that close a range, that could have been deadly. But fair enough. You know, I just got a hole right through the floorboard into the ground. And now, when I'm driving around or when my buddy's driving, I can just kind of see the ground through that hole, and you know, all's good. Who cranks off around in their own car at the floor, just hoping maybe they don't hit a fuel line or anything along those lines or, you know, have it ricochet back on them? That's an aggressive shooter. Just 
shooting his own car. Just well, we had to see if the ammo was good, the gun was good, and if the gun was loaded. The answer. Yes. Yes, it was. So let's get back to Chicago and what the uh, shenanigans going on there. The plane maker said Thursday that it will shift its headquarters to Arlington, Virginia from Chicago, a move that would put Boeing near federal government decision makers in Washington. So that's the line. And we're moving out of Chicago, not because it's bad or anything. It's been a great place and it's offered us opportunities that we wouldn't have had elsewhere. But we're now moving our offices for Boeing to Virginia. Hmm, interesting. Chicago, the nation's third most populous city, has seen a rise in crime that prompted its richest resident, Citadel founder Ken Griffin, to say that he's likely to move his $38 billion hedge fund elsewhere. Where are you going to go? Anywhere other than Chicago. Chicago's magnificent mile and State Street shopping districts, along with many restaurants in the downtown loop, have yet to recover from the pandemic. Even the National Football League, the Bears, how about the Bears, how about them Bears franchise is considering an exit to the Burbs. We're moving to the Burbs. Downtown, not so safe. Not safe at all. Boeing's decision to leave Illinois is incredibly disappointing. Every level of government in our state has worked to make Chicago and Illinois the perfect home for Boeing's headquarters for the past 20 years. Overlook the crime statistics. Just, you know, scoot scoot right on past those and... I'm sure that you can see why, you know, Chicago is the perfect place to keep Boeing. Now, you can't spin that, can you? Well, what about all these news stories coming out? Uh, Don't don't worry about them. You know, if it bleeds, it leads. And so the media tends to overemphasize these, you know, so-called shootings. U.S. Senator Dick Durbin of Illinois said in a statement Thursday, we are working together to ensure Boeing leadership both understands how harmful this move will be and does everything possible to protect Illinois workers and jobs. How about if you let the police protect the public safety? What about that? What if that happened? Hmm. Yeah. Now, we can't do that. We need to just, you know, we need to just let everything kind of go and just let people shoot each other willy-nilly because that's inclusive, right? No, it's not. Chicago remains home for many big companies, including McDonald's, a bunch of other companies I've never heard of. But the city has many other recent departures. United Airlines Holdings said in December that they'll move 1,300 workers from its Willis Tower headquarters to Arlington Heights, suburb of about 30 miles. That's also being considered by the Chicago Bears. Everybody's moving out of Chicago because it's not safe and it's not headed in the right direction as far as public safety goes. That's the bottom line, right? That, I mean, we know it to be true. Based on statistics, it's going the wrong way. These are things that impact employers that I think a lot of folks want to just ignore. They'll stick around. They'll stay. Don't worry. The shootings, you know, shootings go up. They go down. We're just in an uptick right now. I'm sure, you know, bring your employees around. It's safe. It's going to be safe. We're working on safety. It's important. Nothing is more important to us than your employees' safety We're working on it. We're going to make sure that, you know, we smooth all this out. Companies don't, they don't base their decisions on that. They're like, all right, right now, this is not safe for our employees. We're moving. And that's what they do. The fact that they've got another excuse, which is, well, we'll be closer to decision makers in Washington, D.C., certainly helps, doesn't it? And, you know, so many of these decisions, crime isn't the main focus. It's not. But it certainly doesn't help, does it? No, it doesn't. It doesn't. We've struggled with that here in Seattle. We've got Amazon in a area, um, you know, of extreme crime that's happened in Seattle decided, yeah, no, we're not going to put our worker, our employees back into that office space because it's a little too close to the blade, which has just been an ongoing open air drug and crime section of Seattle for years and years and years, decades and decades. We're not going to bring our employees back to that building because of public safety. It's a total thing. But if you, if you're a company, you can make that exodus. If you say, well, we're leaving for this reason. Uh, then you don't have to get into the whole politics of, well, but we're working so hard on making this a safe city. Yeah, well, it's not right now. So we're gone. See you later, alligator. That's literally what we're dealing with, right? 
A reoccurring complaint about Chicago is crime, which is up 35% so far this year. That's not a good statistic compared to the same period in 2021. Though murders and shooting incidents, they're down. All other major categories of crime are up, including a 67% jump in thefts. Okay, you know, some might say that the folks at the top echelon of Boeing might be aware of those statistics and they might make recommendations based on said statistics. All right, are our employees going to get harmed? Well, here they've got a much higher chance. Here they don't. It's got to come into the equation, right? I mean, we just know it does. It does. And when you've got the wacky stuff going on in Chicago, it's not surprising. And this has no, this has nothing to do with all the shootings on the South Side. I mean, we're talking downtown, right? And so you throw that into the mix, you're like, okay, you've got a pretty good reason to be out of there, if, especially if you're going to somewhere that has less crime. I mean, why wouldn't you make, if you could make that move, why wouldn't you do that? So Boeing moved its headquarters from Seattle to a 36-story building along the Chicago River in 2001, choosing the city over Denver and Dallas as the company sought to expand plane making and to be more centrally located in the U.S. This is the company headquarters. This is not where they build the planes, right? So they can move these, you know, these folks around pretty easy. Infrastructure is, you know, you've got commercial office building and that's what you basically need, right? Access to whatever within that system. Mayor Lori Lightfoot offered assurances that Chicago is a thriving economy that's attracting new businesses with its diverse workforce and expansive infrastructure network. And every now and then the theaters need to close down or not have a show because they had a shooting. Hmm. Yeah, we just read that, didn't we? Chicago is a world-class city, and in the last year, 173 corporations relocated or expanded here. And 67 corporations have made that same decision since the start of 2022. You can say that about any big, huge, major city. And they may not be major corporations. They might be small corporations that, for whatever reason, need the location of Chicago. Because I think if most folks um, had their choice, they'd probably put their headquarters elsewhere. We have a robust pipeline of major corporation relocations and expansions, and good luck with that. And we expect more announcements in the coming months. For every city that has these major headlines, there's also a bunch of companies going to it for a particular reason. And they're like, crime? Yeah, not so much. Don't want the crime. We're out of here. Boeing? It's not clear. It sounds like they moved for another reason. But with so many folks that I talk to, all right, you're going out of there and you're going to tell everybody it's for this reason. The harsh reality is, is that the nonsense that's going on in Chicago, the shootings, those certainly don't help in a decision. All right, we got this city versus this city. Jeez, you got a lot of shootings in Chicago going down. Mm, that's not good. No. How about this city over here? How, what's their stats like? Well, it's run by Republicans. They got fewer shootings. Huh. Interesting. Well, let's kick it around to go there. And there's no state income tax, you know, whatever it is that they're going to be looking for. There's that. But we don't want to talk outright about, yeah, we're moving because of the shootings. Now, this story in, on, on Amazon in Seattle, they literally came out and said, yeah, it's not so safe. And then immediately, the mayor had, did an all-in effort at trying to get that block cleaned up. And they've still got cops posted up there trying to keep that area of the city safe because they've got a bunch of major tenants that are kind of looking around, probably like Boeing was, going, you know what? We might want to reconsider and reimagine and rethink our office space here in this area. We might re want to reconsider all that. Hmm. And so Boeing is. Boeing's going to move. I can't really blame them. Will they be happier in Virginia? Probably. I mean, the, Virginia's got crime too, right? I mean, where are we going in Virginia? What city are we going in, in Virginia? Uh, Arlington. I don't know the crime stats in Virginia, which me, leads me to believe it's got to be better than Chicago. All right. That's what I'm going to leave you with is a guess on Arlington, Virginia's crime stats and uh, the end result. Thanks so much for being here. We'll catch up in the next one. Bye for now.